This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel by Flood and Mon 14. Blind! So, guys, how's it going? Flood and Mon 14 here. And we're here with some, uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, so... Yeah, here's the thing, is like, um... Uh, obviously... <laughs> it's funny. Some a lot of a lot of a lot of people have been wanting me to uh, start this game and you know let's play it and whatnot, or to just show gameplay for me. Um, let's see. Let's just go here. Um, but yeah, this is my yeah. Sorry if there's any like technical issues or uh, anything like that. But before we start, let me take a big old drink of water because today it's actually 107 degrees here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yes, yeah, so I got a huge, huge jug of water. But yes, my name is Flood. Flood, F L O O D N I N. Mon, as in hey, Mon. What you doing there, Mon, down at the island? Now, yes, this is Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel Blind by Flood Mon 14. Uh, anyway, yes, blind. What do I mean by blind? Well, guys, here's the deal. Let me explain my Yu-Gi-Oh! And this is good for the first episode. Experience level at this point, right? So, here's the thing, man. And uh, this looks like, kind of like a tutorial duel. I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, let's just summon this, I guess. Um, but yeah, here's the deal. I did play competitively in a few tournaments, um, really from about 2007 to 2012. Like I would visit, you know, the local card shop and whatnot and just kind of play. Um, but basically, I stopped, uh, you guys know, uh, I'm sure you guys know what synchros are, all you pros out there, and anyone watching this, I'm sure you guys know what synchro summoning is, what, uh, X, exceed summoning is, XYZ summons, you know, the black cards, pendulums, link, uh, here's the deal, I have no idea what a link summon is, uh, I've never, I don't know what a pendulum summon is, but I stopped dueling right around the time that Black Wings were at full power, and I mean full power. So, like, I'm familiar with, like, the 5Ds archetypes, like Stardust, Red Archfiend, Red Dragon Archfiend. I'm familiar with those, for the most part. Uh, how do we battle? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, this game's not too hard to figure out. I mean, it's still Yu-Gi-Oh! at the end of the day. Uh, no. I might need to figure out a way to turn the prompts off. Just a side note to myself, but, um... Yeah, so... The re and everyone always has, you know, their reasons for, you know, stopping, you know, playing competitively. Us, uh, for some people, it was dad format, aka Dark Arm Dragon. Teledad made a lot of people quit, a lot of people. Um, but for me, it was when uh, Black Wings were at full power. And what do I mean, full power? Well, I mean, at first, Black Wings weren't, you know, they were, they were okay. They weren't like. They weren't too uh, troublesome to deal with, but once uh, Black Wings got the uh, the continuous spell card, Black Whirlwind. Now I'm not sure which exact set it's in. Might be Crossroads of Chaos. I, I don't know. It's been it's been years, guys. It's been years. So sorry if I'm getting the name of the set wrong. But long story short, when they released like Black Whirlwind and Gale, you know. Yeah, Blackwing uh, Gale. Uh, yeah, that was kind of, at that point, just the speed. The raw, unbridled speed and power of full Blackwings. Full Blackwings. Uh, for, for context, anyone who watches, uh, does anyone here, like, watch a CMO? You know, watches CMO's progression series? You guys know how Gage, you know, the, the guy uh, CMO you know, duels against a lot in the progression. You know how Gage went on, like, a 12 loss streak due to, you know, Blackwings and Kalut and, you know, stuff like that being at full power? And Shura, yeah, Shura. Shura also came out. 
Yeah, kind of the same thing for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I tried to hang in there for a while and just, you know what I mean, and just, you know, just grin and bear it for a while. I tried to hang in there for about one or two more formats, but it wasn't really getting any better, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so that's when I stopped playing competitively. Now, just because I stopped playing competitively, like, I still collected a few of the cards, uh, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, once you stop playing competitively, you kind of, like, your tank of knowledge, like, let's say your tank of knowledge is here, or here, you know, highest when you're playing competitively. Well, once you stop, it tends to start going, you know, about here. I mean, you still have, basically, I still have everything from Blackwing Super Format and back, you know what I mean? Anything like that... I'm familiar with, and let's check the effect of this card. Gains 500, cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card. Oh wow, it points to a monster. Now what arrows does this have? Uh, Cause I hear late monsters have arrows. Is it pointing to my? Oh it is, okay. So see, this card has an up and down arrow. So basically, its own effect, as long as my monster's here, this thing can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, what does this do? If you control no monsters. Okay, so I can't really do anything. Um, so let's just end our turn. What does this do? Hang on. Uh, main phase. Let's, let's, let's just, let's learn. Long story short, yeah, this is Master Duel Blind by Floodmon14. And it's gonna be a process. It's gonna be, you know, uh, let's see. Coats up there. Ah, so basically he just gets to keep adding cards as long as he plays uh, these kind of monsters, Psynet monsters, or Code monsters. So long story short, if we can, we need to get rid of this card. It's kind of like Black Whirlwind for Code Talkers. I mean, based on my initial read. Am I right? By the way, anything I'm wrong about, let me know in the comments. Uh, very interesting. Uh, now you guys may be wondering, wouldn't this be better with a face cam? I agree, it probably would be, but uh, for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe at some point I'll get a face cam and yada yada, but yeah, for now, we're just gonna play, and you're gonna hear me have a lot of salt. Uh, what does this thing do? Can I attack directly? Unaffected, cannot be destroyed. Wow. That's a lot of effects. Can I attack directly or other monsters in my extra zone? Unaffected. I see. Well, what we're gonna do here. Yeah, I think I'll finally play Ballista Squad. And I'll get rid of this. Because it's pointing, you know, to this. And I will destroy this card. If he lets me. I mean, he's got a couple face downs. So, oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, he's got a couple face downs that may not you know, go through, but, and he may play, uh, something now, you know, I imagine, I hear Mirror Forces have played a lot these days, but I imagine each archetype kind of has their own, you know, their own kind of reactive traps that we gotta watch out for, so, yeah, traps have always been very powerful, uh, speaking of that, when an opponent's monster clears an attack, you take damage equal, if you do ban, oh, okay, so that's, that's kind of a cute way to get rid of a monster during the opponent's end phase of the next turn. Oh, to your side. Ah. So this would be very good on a high-level monster, as long as it works, you know. I hear there's a lot of negation running around these days, so... We'll, we'll run into it soon enough. Now, what I want to do is summon this, probably way over here. That way it doesn't boost uh, his... Uh, What's this? The uh, Code Talker, right. Now, I assume he's gonna spring some kind of trap uh, icon here, but let's just attack anyway. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is like a tutorial duel or what, because this is my first, like, my first duel on, uh, yeah, on Master Duel here. Uh, long story short, all I did was, you know, install the game, do all the updates, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. I have done, a, like, one or two um, duels versus, like, friends, but all I had was the, the basic... I chose the Synchron starter deck. Uh, that's the one I chose, so... I don't know if that's the deck I have selected, but, uh, 
Actually, it seems like it's not. What's going on here? I can't, uh, I can't attack? I'm in my battle phase, right? Yeah, oh, no, I'm not. Okay, that's what it was. I thought I clicked battle phase, but I didn't. Good thing I checked, because I probably would have timed out. There we go. Now, he should play some kind of strategy here, right? No? I mean, he's just not going to let me run over his monster. Who knows? Maybe he has Call of the Haunted down there. Is that meta? I mean, reborning a monster always seems good to me. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. This is going to be a blind let's play. Kind of a rude awakening here for Floodmon 14. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I, as you can tell by the intro, I do like epic voices. I do like Dragon Ball Z announcer voice. Oh, hang, hang on. Let me do the Settle Cabo voice. <clears throat> oh, 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 you're summoning a monster face down? Jesus, Shizu, why would I want to do that? But, uh, yeah. I don't expect, uh, and it's funny. So the timing on this, uh, series, right? Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel has just recently, you know, started. And it's kind of funny. Someone asked me, like, <laughs> like a really good friend of mine, uh, uh, she asked me, hey, now that people are leaving Master Duel, are you going to do a Let's Play of it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now's the perfect time. Because it's funny, right? Like, oh, oh, he scooped. He quit. We win. Hey, GG, no re. But, uh, yeah, that's our first victory, and uh, we'll take it. Um, So, and it's funny, like, every, we'll probably do another duel after that. That was fun. That was fun. But I feel like that was like a tutorial duel, or, oh, okay, we're in rookie tier. That's why. Okay. It, it makes sense. Well, I'm glad they have a tier system, first of all. Like, for, first of all, I don't know anything about this game. I'm glad they have a tier system. That's really good. That's helpful for me. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But, um, oh, we get gems. Okay. Now, I, I, I do know a little about this game. I hear that gems are used to buy cards. It's basically like a Kaiba Court Point system in uh, from Nightmare Troubadour. So, now, save duel. We don't want to do that. We just want to return to the menu and do a duel. So yeah, our starting deck, let's see, edit deck, yeah. I should probably do this, or change decks. Uh, yeah, I know how to edit my deck, man. Thank you. Oh, so we had like the starting deck here. Yeah, I don't think we want that one. Let's go back, let's do a change decks, yeah. Let's go with Synchro of Unity, because that's the one I selected. Yeah, select this deck, okay. Okay, and yeah, back in the day, I did run, you know, sort of a dr junk synchron, you know, kind of strategy, so, yeah, that I'm a little familiar with, that, uh, okay, so, so it all worked out, we picked the wrong deck, and we still won, so we're good, uh, but yeah, back to what I was saying about my experience, or, uh, how I play games, number one, you'll probably all notice that I play a lot of old school games on this channel, and that's true. The other thing is, and, and this is what the friend I was talking to, she was talking about, she was like, Josh, you always wait until, you know what I mean? So like every new game, right? There's always like a real, real big push for a new game. Like the servers get flooded. There's all kind of glitches. There's all kind of like, there's all kind of people complaining like, oh man, this game's toxic. And this is wrong. And this is wrong. And this is wrong. Um, I've never, how do I say this? I've never bought into the hype. Like, the the only, the only new games I will buy that are new and play the first day, etc., etc. There's only two. Madden and NBA 2K. That's it. That's it. No other game. And even then, sometimes I won't, you know what I mean, I uh, like this new Madden that's coming out. I know John Madden just passed away, but, like, I'm probably going to wait till it goes on sale, you know what I mean? Black Friday, you know, save a little money, save a little money, you know. That's that's the main reason why, guys, is like, usually if you wait about like six or nine months, sometimes the game will be like 20 bucks less money. I mean, yeah, you could say, oh, well, well Flood, you're just cheap, man. You're just cheap, that's why. Uh, but no, no, honestly, it's not just about the money. It's also that, like I said, you let the hype wear out, you let all the toxic people, you, you let them be flooded out, let's say. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you see what I did there? Uh, let's go with uh, Max Warrior here, tag mode. But yeah, yeah, I never, it, and it doesn't matter what game it is. It doesn't matter if it's Yu-Gi-Oh, it doesn't matter if it's like Pokemon. I always wait, usually about 
nine months to maybe a year and before I get the new game. Like, the only exception is, like, for example, Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel is recently out. Cross Duel. So, for those of you who don't know what Cross Duel is, it's a new kind of, um... Uh, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, from what I can tell. It's a new game that's, um just recently been released worldwide. Well, not worldwide. I don't think we've gotten the English port yet, but I've seen Let's Plays of it, so obviously people have figured out how to, uh, um, how to, how to, should I special summon this? Nah, 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 we're fine. People have figured out how to, uh, translate and or play it right now because I've seen like let's plays of it right now um, so yeah that's exciting but what that means is that people are gonna stop playing master duel so like you know I know we've lost some toxic players and like I heard about the whole bot thing with the DD dynamite OTK so you know that's been filtered out so yeah long story short that's always so for those of you who you know really like my channel and my content and this and that and the other like just know like if a game's brand new and there's a lot of hype around it and it's exciting like yes yes I'm gonna flood we really want you to play this game it's probably not gonna happen it's, you know right away it's gonna be about six months or you know maybe a year or to the next black friday or to the next holiday so you know what i mean basically i'm gonna wait till the hype you know kind of wears down and then just kind of you know just kind of relax relax and play now utopia um, I am slightly familiar with Utopia, and I hear Utopia these days is very, very good. I hear they even have an OTK for the deck, and maybe that's what this is. Hopefully not, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, either way, we are at about 18 minutes. But by the way, I am very excited to start this Let's Play. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking me to Let's Play this, you know, since it was new, since day one. And I was just like, they're like, it's free, it's free, why not, it's free. But, you know, my principles still uphold, you know, whether it's new or not, whether it's uh, free or not. I usually still give it the good old six to five month wait. The uh, good old, uh, let's call it the filtration weight. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. Let's trademark that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, if you really like Yu-Gi-Oh, hey, stay tuned for more. If you like, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that, yeah, stay tuned for more. We've got plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh already on the channel. You can check out my Let's Plays of like Nightmare Troubadour. You know, mostly old school stuff. Donna Destiny. You know, especially Troubadour. In Troubadour, we just uh, did the Bandit Keith event in America. <laughs> and Bandit Keith was all like, ah, ha, I stole your prize. I don't know what you're talking about, America. Try speaking American. It's the only language I understand. What's with all these cards and they're constantly special summoning? Ha, <laughs> did you just special summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? So that's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have money. Are we about to receive our first OTK? Ooh, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Getting OTK'd is always a pleasure. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's 2013 or 2022. I just appreciate the flex and the... Uh, the, how do we say, the symmetry, the uh, the tactics, you know, the skill level. It does take skill level to pull off an OTK. So, one ton key. All right. Ah, so lightning can increase its attack. Okay. And is it gonna do it again? I imagine so. Interesting. I should probably read this card. Let's read it. Let's read it. Okay, so... Ah, okay. Mm. 
this card battles, your opponent can't activate cards or effects. Oh, wow. So that's definitely how the OTK works. Because let's say I had a Mirror Force here. Even if I did, I couldn't play it. This card battles an opponent's monster while it has a utility. Oh, okay, okay. You have to attach two, becomes 5,000 during. Okay. Okay, so I basically understand how the OTK works. I basically understand it. So, Utopia of the Lightning basically makes it to where, number one, your opponent can't do anything, and number two, its attack points become 5,000. So, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Pretty, pretty simple OTK to understand, really. Uh, now, with that being said, not really much we can do here. I think what I will do is summon Turbo Synchro, and I'll summon Turret Warrior in defense. Oh, wait, wait, this isn't a warrior? Oh! Well, guys, we just lost. But, you know, maybe this guy will do something. I've seen people do some very, uh, how do we say, questionable things in duels. So, you know, maybe this guy will do something incredibly stupid. It's very possible. Um, but yeah, we'll just go with the Turbo Synchron and maybe, maybe we'll bluff him out. You know, we got two face downs now. Maybe you'll think we have, like, a storming mirror force or something. But, uh, although I guess it wouldn't matter since I just read this thing's effect, yeah. Uh, no, go ahead, bro. I just want to see what you can do. Okay, so what does this do? Sylphid wing. You can target... Oh, I see. I see. Special summon. You can make the attack... Wow, gain 1,600. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Let's play half shut. It's not really going to do anything, but let's do it. Yeah, now you can't destroy me in battle, son. What you going to do about that? <laughs> this guy's just like, I'm just going to attack. I don't care. <laughs> well, with that, guys, that is the end of the first episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Live. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. One win, one loss. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we will try to keep ranking up from Rookie. Oh wait, we just did, what? Rookie tier one to bronze? So we're in bronze now, bronze five. I'm not sure the exact hierarchy of the ranking system, but uh, hey, nothing else we got out of Rookie in the first episode. So I would hope you do that every time though. But I guess there is a chance that you lose constantly, you know. I mean, if you just break, right? I mean, aka have a bad starting hand. That's possible in every duel. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of our first episode. Sorry if I was talking like really, really, really fast, but obviously you guys can tell I'm excited about this Let's Play. And I don't need to like save or anything, do I? Like I said, I've never played this game before. Uh, is there like a save menu? Let me... I don't think there is. I think this game just auto-saves, I think. Um, I certainly hope this game auto-saves. Because I'm about to, uh, end the episode, upload this onto YouTube, and hit escape. Or quit. But, uh, yeah. In the next episode, we're probably gonna check out this. As you can see, we have four team missions. And maybe we'll try to accomplish them. I, I hear there's also no, like story mode or campaign for this game so maybe next episode we'll check out some of the missions yeah, i don't know try a few out see because obviously if you complete the missions you get a lot of gems that's what i hear right uh yeah let me get guys know how you feel about this lp and like i said this is blind i'm pretty blind here so i will take any recommendations any decks any ideas any decks you want me to try out let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day. Happy duel. <laughs> all right. Ah. That's a good first episode. Man, is it hot in here, bro? That's good water. Ooh, man, what was I thinking? Let's play in like coming back in summer and let's play.
I, get, I was just in the mood to record. That, that, let's be honest, Josh. That's what it is. That's what. But like, man, is it hot, bro? Ooh, I am literally sweating. Like, <laughs> it's funny. I made that joke about the face cam. <laughs> Let me tell you folks one thing, bro. This is all bonus content from here. Let me tell you folks something. There ain't no way in that I'm gonna have a face cam and so it's just too hot. Like, bro, if I showed my face right now, I am pouring sweat. Pouring, pouring sweat, bro. Like, oh my. Mm. Summer is just, oh, it's so hot to record because you know, you, you got the big old headset, you got like, ah, oh, man, we got like four fans going in this room, and I am still just, my soul, my soul is on fire. I love my revenge. Obviously, that's a video game quote. I'm not sure which video game, but that was a hell of a quote. Well, let's leave it, leave it in. Cut. Keep rolling, Jim. Keep it rolling. It's premium content here. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that was funny, Josh. That was, yeah, me with a face cam. Like, pff, would anyone watch that? Like, let, let, let's be honest. Me with a face cam. Like, let's say I was live on Twitch. Would anyone would anyone really watch that? Let, let's, let's be honest. Let, you know what? If you would watch me on Twitch, leave a comment in the link in the, in the description. Uh, down below the description. Leave a comment. Hey, Flood, we want to see you stream on Twitch. You're our favorite Pokemon streamer. Flood, he's the best. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good one. No, no, no. I expect this video to get about, you know, about eh, 18 views. About, about normal.